saw stop. Anybody out there who could tell me this is a piece of pine knows about this company. Yes, this company is owned by Tool Tech Systems Holding AG, who happens to own a little company called Festool. Ever heard of them? If you don't know about SawStop, it's a table saw that says, uh, no thank you when you're trying to feed it your fingers. Bosch makes a saw, the Reax, and Festool also makes a TKS 80, which also thinks fingers taste bad, no matter what condiments you put on there beforehand. So I cashed in my 401k and finally have the feeling of safety here in the shop. After using this 14 inch model a few times, uh, using only hand tools has crossed my mind. This guy is terrifying. And not only because the, because it's broken, but she's loud and she's proud and that once you have one kickback guys your your respect for it goes way up okay most dangerous tool in the shop so i cut this piece of pine a few times and the thought crossed my mind how does this not cut off my fingers so we're gonna put her to the hot dog test Oh yeah, we got the hot dog. So here I got a 14 inch saw. It came with this, you know, the miter box deal. It does have these little flip down legs that keep it up against the, the workbench, that's nice. These guys are also pretty concave, so once you turn them, it tightens it. The least tight is where that knob is at. So let's try to cut a hot dog in half. She's snug. What just, that's a deep cut. Where did my, my saw go? <clears throat> Guys, oh my God. That doesn't matter. How did it? This thing is wild. I mean, you're still going to a hospital. You're cut pretty good. Uh, it's a bigger gash than you'd get on an actual saw stop. But on a serious note, table saws, miter saws, guys, definitely wear your protective equipment. Please don't. I didn't wear it for this. because, Well, now I know it shoots a blade out the front. I'll start wearing them. But if you're running a table saw, the miter saw, minimally put these guys on. If you're sanding, please wear a mask. Leave me alone, I don't have any guards on this either. I, I personally find it safer without the guards. Go at your own comfort level. If you want the rip blade, if you want the, the rippy thing, or if you want you know, a kickback sled, do what you gotta do to feel safe in the shop. I am beginning to pump out more content. Some are goofy bits like this, some will be tool reviews, some are just simple, easy projects. If you got a chuckle, please like this video and to see more of me more often. Uh, definitely consider subscribing. I know the bun is wood, but if, if this wasn't a beef hot dog, I'd probably eat it. I'm not a fan of beef hot dogs. So.